It was the hottest meat market to get lit in New York City. And they had 100 bar stools. So I'd stand at sort of one end of the bar, and every girl, and you know, you wanna f, you wanna f, you wanna f, you wanna. I never got to the end of the bar without getting f. I got spit on, kicked, you name it, drinks thrown in my face. You have no value. You have no self-esteem. You have nothing. You you have nothing to offer. Why would you approach anybody in the, in the context of you want to you want to you want? Is that really what you want? You want somebody to go, hey, you know what? Uh, I've got herpes. Why not? I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. The biggest problem is guys have a lot of role models online that uh, that pretend to know what manliness is about, or they exude some version of manliness, and it's not. It's it's aggression and stupidity. I wanted to get your thoughts on this guy. Um, I don't know if you've heard of a guy named Dan Pena, and his yeah. whole thing is that uh, this new generation is all pussies, right? They're all a bunch of. Oh, is this all the guy a... with the, the suit, the pinstripe yes, suit? Yes, exactly. I don't give a fuck if your mother died in your arms. Where's the fucking weekly report, you cunt? I'm serious. I don't give a shit. We've had guys, their wife is giving birth. As God is my witness, he's a doctor, Dr. Joe. Push, honey. Oh, yeah, Dan, I, I, I got Push, honey. Push, push. I don't give a shit. Nobody, you don't you understand? Nobody cares about all the trials and tribulations of your fucking weak, cut life. Don't you understand that? What the fuck do I have to do here? You fucking morons. This is a, th So he makes his living, and um, this is one of the situations where I hate everybody involved with this. He basically makes his living doing these speaking engagements. They pay him to do this, these fucking, you know, these Young white broken, dudes who are looking for... Motivation uh, or some shit. A, f a father figure that they never had, but go ahead. Back when I was single, living in New York, there was, it used to play, uh, be a place called um, the library. It was the hottest meat market to get laid in New York City, in Manhattan. If you couldn't get laid there, it's because you didn't have a dick. And they had 100 bar stools. So I'd stand at sort of one end of the bar, and every girl, I'd move down, I'd have a, a drink in my hand, and you know, you wanna fuck, you wanna fuck, you wanna fuck, you wanna, I never got to the end of the bar without getting fucked. I got spit on, kicked, you name it, drinks thrown in my face. It's a numbers game, just like QLA. That lets you know what Dan Pena is all about. He's okay. a Mr. Tough Guy, but I have no problem letting a woman spit in my face and spit throw a drink in my, in face, my face. Kick me. Kick me in the balls. Here's the other amazing thing about this is that we're literally on a situation where, um, at, so as you're going down this line, the woman who, how, how low does the self-esteem of the woman that actually says yes, that she's watched you get spit on, kicked, you want to fuck, you want to fuck, you want to fuck, you want to fuck, want to fuck. Um, it, it, it is, he is the reason why the feminist movement started. This old fuck, I guarantee you that dude don't have numbers. I guarantee he don't num have numbers. If that is his, there's no way in the world that, that he, he could, didn't pay for. I'm sure yeah. he's gotten plenty of, that of he course. paid for. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. And here's the situation that you teach and something you you have no value. You have no self esteem. You have nothing. You you have nothing to offer. Why would you approach anybody in the, in the context of you? You want to fuck, you want to fuck, you want to fuck. I'm, yeah, I'm quite sure you can, You, I mean, you'll find somebody who goes, eh, what the hell? I mean, but is that really what you want? You want somebody to go, eh, hey, you know what? Uh, I've got herpes, why not? Yeah. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. And the willing that you're willing to lower yourself to whatever, and because here's this, and this is um, a prime example of the problem with dating and relationships, is that guys view sex and dating as something completely different than any other aspect of your yeah. life. Here you got a guy who's completely successful financially, right? He's a, he's a billionaire, right? And everything, every lesson that he's done, everything about having dignity and self-respect. I remember watching a video from this guy, and I like watching these videos because he screams at these fucking people who, yeah. who you know paid money to, to have him come there and just yell at him, so it brings me joy because uh, they're also douchebags. But he, there's a video of him talking about if somebody spit in my mother's face, you know, I would be in jail right now because I wouldn't let him do that. I wouldn't let him, you know, that's what you got to be a man's man. What happened to men? 
And meanwhile, he's lowering himself because it's different, right? Sex is different. Mm -hmm. Women are different. So the self-respect you have in business. Is this what he's saying now or what's his? No, no, I'm saying this is, I'm saying this is an indic. this is a a microcosm of the problem men have. Yeah. Which is they will, no matter how strong or how much, uh, how much a man has achieved when it comes to sex, they don't maintain the same high standard that they would in another aspect of their life. Sure. Because they'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Hey, I don't care as long as I get laid. Well, you should care. Yeah, you should care, and which is ironic because the more you care, the more you do get laid. It's it's so counterintuitive that the fact that the fact that you think that you're valuable enough to pass on somebody is 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 the reason why women. It is the commun. It is the actual communication to women that tells them that you have value. The fact that you are just not available. The fact that you're not going down a row. Of 30 bar stools, you want to fuck, you want to fuck, you want to fuck. You wanna, it's just, this is so ridiculous, so absurd. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it is literally strafing until you get lucky. And, and trust me, you are getting lucky because you have not shown any value. You have no value. The fact that you would even do that says so much about yourself. If you love what we're doing here, Go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Now, don't get me wrong. I talk about this all the time is laying the five bricks. When I say laying the five bricks, but the laying the five bricks is about teaching you how to be social it's about getting you past the idea of 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 the the anxiety of the fact that i'm not good enough to even speak to a woman and the reason why i specifically say and i've said this a hundred times and every guy who's actually done it on his own they always well I, you know i got this number i go but i t- you know on the first phase the first thing I'd tell you is not to get you not to get the number because you have to learn how to here's what you have to learn how to talk to women who without it being transactional. Here's here's a basic understanding of what I mean by that. Uh let's say me and Harry, you we we don't know each other, right? We're at a party and you go, Oh, I go, what do you do? And you go, Oh, I'm a lawyer. You know, I have a law firm downtown in the city, and I go, Wow, and I go, Oh. Uh, he goes, well, what do you do? I go, well, I, I, I sell paper. He goes, really? What do you mean? Just paper like, yeah, like Xerox paper, reams of paper, whatever you need, analyst paper, whatever, computer sheet, right? And you go, man, wow, okay, how long have you been doing that? I go, oh, I've been doing it for about 20 years. You go, you know, I've been having a problem with my, with my, the, the paper guy from my office. Maybe we should, you know, if, if not for nothing, we'll, let's, let's sit down and see if we can figure out something that fits. The, the point is that our relationship, our social interaction is not transactional. Whereas if it's different if I come to your law office and I go and, 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 and the, and the um, receptionist says, uh, Dante Nero here is from Amalgamated Paper. He wants to have a meeting with you. You go, oh, here we go. I don't, I don't want to just tell him I'm on lunch. The reason because initially that social interaction is transactional. You have to learn how to talk to talk to a woman where it's not transactional, because if she's not interested in you, she is going to she is going to shut you down. Because your interest in her shows uh, her interest in her, your interest in her when you have no when she hasn't presented any value shows you shows her that you have no value. If she could just be just show up and get your attention, then you have no value. You're open for business. Um, and and so you have to learn how to speak in a way that you that it's not just transactional. And how do you become, how do you put yourself in a situation that's non-transactional? You have to actually, you have to actually have value. You have to be the ver- best version of yourself. You gotta be a better re- dude. You got to read. You have to be interesting. You have to have something to say. You have to have interest. You have to have your life has to have some kind of vigor and life in it. And if it doesn't, then you need to work on that. 
So it's it's weird that this and and I, you know this guy that guy uh, he says he says that he's worth five hundred million dollars, but there's no proof. Um, they often they say he's not even worth five million, but you know he's been scamming people for a while, so he might. You know, I mean, it's like Jordan Peterson is a fucking idiot. But, you know, you 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 sell your stoogeness long enough and you get rich off of it. So, yeah, but, but that's the, the problem is these guys are out there and people follow that that type of advice about life. Yeah. Like that. That's what it's about. Hey, who gives a fuck that, you know, you, you work, work, work. Who gives a fuck if your wife is giving birth? Look, is that a way to live your life? Right. But that's his way to do it, because all that matters is the finances. But is he a happy dude who gets spit on in yeah. order to have? So I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Pena is a guy who likes to have his ball stepped on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. He's wearing a diaper. I guarantee you there's some diaper. shit. Yeah, he's shitting in a diaper and getting his nuts stepped on. And he's paying Russian prostitutes to pee on him. The whole deal. Because that's that's the only thing that gets somebody like that off. That has to be, because otherwise, why would you tell that story? I would be embarrassed. How'd you come to tell across this guy? It's just on social media. Uh, Everybody, it's just you see these clips. I mean, they're fun clips to watch because he's screaming yeah. at people. He's just yelling at people, calling them dummies, and I love it because he's yelling at these dumb rich idiots who are stupid enough to pay him. Yeah. To come yeah. out and tell him like how to be successful, and he's just screaming at them because they're not tough enough. Have some fucking balls. He's just <laughs> yell. I like watching. I, I like watching people who deserve to be yelled at get yelled at. Yeah. I hate the opposite. But the big thing I wanted to talk about is just like how much guys are willing to lower themselves sure. for the sake of sure. sex. How much guys are willing to give up? Because this is a guy who preaches nothing but dignity and respect and hard work and dedication and intelligence. And he's a and, liar. And he's, he's a liar. liar. Yeah. At the base, at the core of who he is, he's a liar. He has reinvented himself for this Internet thing, and he's making money off of it because he's because guys believe it. And here's the other thing, and this is something else that you find you find over and over and over again, is that we 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 come through and we have these um, abusive relationships with our parents, um, volatile or neglectful relationships with our parents. And then what do we do? We replicate that abuse over and over again. So this guy has a market. There's a market for him because of the fact that he's yelling at them and telling them they ain't worth shit. They want to hear that. I mean, God bless, God bless the our Lord and Savior uh, Kevin Samuels. But a lot of I look, and I just always say this. I always preface this: how Kevin Samuels, in a lot of ways, he, you know, helped women accountable, and he always dealt with truth and facts and statistics. But if you're, if you were a forty-eight year old woman weighing two hundred and thirty pounds, and you called up. Uh, Kevin Samuels to tell him give him the what for about you and you got two three kids from two baby daddies you know how this is going to turn out if you know how this is going to turn out why would you call why would you call that dude at 240 pounds 5 foot 3 uh, dress size 24 and you're, tell and you're trying to you're single because you know you're single because nobody wants you that's it. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't be, you can't be an older woman, but you gotta like. Why would you? It always drives me crazy. Is anytime I counsel a woman, especially an older woman, and I go, "Are you the best that you can be? Are you in shape? Are you? Are you? You know? Are you well read? Are you all these? Are you? Con are you cooperative? Are you kind? Are you? Are you? You know, uh, matronly in that way? I go. If you if you don't even believe in the, the the product that you're selling, you're trying to sell me something that you don't even believe in. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know that you don't believe in your product? I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.